Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 14 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Colorado, Cameroon, the Nigerian Nightmare. And now it's his point. Fighting at the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Awesome! Now when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamazaki. Here you go, first one, you ready? Are you ready? Let's go, And go here we go. Oh, this is the Here. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He's going to try to take the back, I think. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Double underhooks, we'll see what he can do with it. High kick. Nice kick to the midsection. Oh, well, you can't enter the pocket there unprotected. You gotta figure out a way to get your guard up a little bit. Another kick lands to the head there. And let's see if he and his corner can make the proper adjustments defensively to avoid any further head kicks here in this fight. He's in half guard here. Oh, he missed that kick. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Oh, he's getting some hip in that one. Half guard. Oh, huge kick to the bottom. Oh. Some real power shots here. Hard jab. This is crazy. Oh, my goodness. Another shot. Nice takedown. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, powerful right leg kick. How about that shin? Yeah, looks for the loss here on his feet. These are some bombs he has thrown. He's got him hurt here. Defense there, huge block for him. The big right hand. Nice leg kick. Oh, he lands another takedown there. He's only landed several in the fight and really doing a great job with these takedowns, not telling. Double underhooks. And pummels under and out of double underhooks. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Hit him hard with that hook. Player. What a fight we got going on here. Oh, huge shot there, lands flush. Hurt him with that Superman punch. Very nice yeah. leg kick there.
Trying to take them back here. Oh, right right hand. Clipped, clipped him. Nice. He's got him inside control. One minute. Excellent posture here. Big body punch. While well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Usman. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. He's got the mounted crucifix. This is dangerous. Oh, we've got an Americana here. He's got that arm secured. It looks like he's got that Americana locked in and very tight. He's got that pretty good. That's pretty tight. And this might just be a matter of time. about to end, sunk in that submission, and got the victory. Right, I mean, how do you not admire the focus of this young fighter? You can tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. Here we see it from another camera angle. And one more time. Nice technique here on this submission. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 58 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, So there he is, your winner by way of submission, and how good was that? I mean, you talk about maximizing a UFC showcase, and that's a great example of doing just that. You see him sharing a moment here with his coaches, his training partners, and you can be sure that with the hard work done and the hay in the barn, that these guys are gonna be celebrating deep into the night after a submission win like this.